Live One is called The Solution. This is the solution to fitness. And today I'll be reviewing the Waiter Attack Series Olympic Weight Bench and the Squat Rack. Also in this video, I will be comparing the Waiter XRS20 to this bench. So this is my next and latest review that I'm going to add into my home gym equipment review playlist, which you can click on at the top of the screen. Like I said, I'm going to compare this a lot to the Waiter XRS20. I also did a review on that bench in that same playlist that you can check out. And I'm also going to talk which I personally think is better. So if you're new to my home gym equipment reviews, how I review equipment is I'll first go over the quality, I'll go over its features, I'll go over how to use it, and I'll go over if it's worth the price. So if you're interested in more videos like that, then consider doing me and yourself a favor and benching that subscribe button, squatting that like button, and punching out the notification bell to be notified of future uploads such as this. With all that being said, let's get right into the review of the Waiter Attack Series Olympic Weight Bench and the squat rack. So here's the box that it came in, roughly the same size box as the Waiter XRS20. It's heavy as hell, the package weight is almost 113 pounds, so either have some help or just drag that big ass box inside. We are now opening the box and here you can see the vinyl black pad with the Waiter logo on it. The XRS20 didn't have any logo on it, so that's the first difference between the two, appearance wise anyway. But I do like the red and black color combo, it really pops. So most of the major pieces are out here. Here's the manual and here are the bolts and washers. You'll be using all of them. Oh, how I miss paper manuals so much. <laughs> Sick and tired of these stupid ass digital directions, but the directions here are okay. If you have experience already building workout equipment, this shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. You have the numbers for the different bolt sizes. You have the step-by-step -step instructions. It seems fairly detailed to me. I don't remember having any difficulty with any parts of the building process and here is the fully built bench and rack so i'm going to start the review by first talking about the bench like i said this is vinyl material pads easy to clean off and the support frame here is steel the overall length of this bench is 5 feet 10 inches or 70 inches the width is a little over a foot and the height of the bench is around a foot and a half this bench has a pretty good weight capacity for a home gym bench. It is 610 pounds. Over here you can see that there are six levels of adjustment. You have it flat back here, it's flat, get a little up, have it incline. You have it straight up for a shoulder press. Uh, you can have it all the way down here for a decline. Uh, I do not recommend doing decline sit-ups on this unless you have weight on the, uh, the leg extension side so you can keep your balance because this will uh, this won't really uh, hold you in pace and hold you in place but sturdy bench here on the note of quality I do think this bench is I do think it's a bit better than the the XRS 20 doesn't shake as much it's pretty firm the leg over here that holds the bench up it's a little bit thicker uh, I do like it better. Of course, I do uh, prefer to have a bench that locks into place with like a pin, but uh, you know, that gives me more peace of mind when I'm benching heavy weight. Now onto the features of this bench. I touched on this part a little bit, but this is the integrated leg developer. This piece requires Olympic plates with a two inch diameter hole. Of course, you can choose not to put on this adapter sleeve here, and then you can use uh, standard weight plates. It comes with this little uh, clamp here to hold the weight in place. Here are the foam roller pads where you're going to keep your legs. They're fairly comfortable. Again, the same as the XRS20. If you got a lot of hair on your legs like me, then some hair may be pulled off. So just wear long sweats like, like these when using it. The weight capacity of the leg developer station is 150 pounds. You definitely have to keep it around that weight because with the previous XRS20, that had a similar weight capacity. I did go a bit higher and the piece did break off making the top foam pads uh, a little wobbly. It was like around here. This part is a lot more thicker, so I don't see that happening, but just a precaution. We also have a curl station. So we have the preacher pad right here that we place here. And we have the curl yoke or the curl bar. So I'm gonna show you how to put it together really quick. So first we're gonna take this piece off the cover if you're not using it. This is the pin that holds it, which I wish the bench had. You see that there's 
three little holes here. Let's put it at the bottom hole. And twist it back. Now that's in place. And there's your curl station. Now let's talk the squat rack in this set. The squat rack is a little over 55 pounds, easy to move around. Its lowest height is 3 feet 5 inches and when it's extended to its highest feature I believe it reaches around 5 feet 3 inches. A little difficult for someone tall to squat with. Front to back length is about 2.5 feet and the width is almost 4 feet. The weight capacity of this squat rack is 310 pounds, so you heavy benchers or squatters, don't get too crazy. But for an at-home workout, I think it's a pretty good weight limit. This steel squat rack does feel a lot more sturdy than the XRS20. I feel like this will hold up a lot longer. That's just my assumption though. So this squat rack here is meant for 7 foot Olympic bars. No six footers here, no easy curl bars here, and I feel like I do have to point that out because I have a, I had been asked that before. Uh, you also have the spotter arms here. These spotter arms are a lot shorter than the XRS20 version. You may like that, you may not. Uh, for me personally, I do like it better because when I'm doing a decline bench press, it's less of a chance of me hitting it because the XRS20 used to go out like out here somewhere, somewhere around here and uh, I would have to put the bench a lot further out to re-rack it and there is also the problem of it, the bar rolling around on such a long uh, plane there. So uh, yeah, I personally like this better. It's definitely not rolling around on this either. On the flip side, it could be a negative because this is very hard to squat with. Uh, like I said, if you're uh, really tall, it's difficult, but if you're at the right height, re-racking it here may be a little inconvenient especially if the squat rack moves a little bit and that's a whole nother mess you don't want to deal with also there's nine levels of adjustment for this squat rack it's held together also with this pin twist it out see here right now it's at its lowest level but you can adjust it to nine different levels one final feature of this squat rack and which waiter didn't have to include, but they did, is the inclusion of this weight storage rack here on both sides. I'm really glad waiter knows the importance of having an integrated weight storage rack. Again, these adapter sleeves do come off, or you can choose not to put them on if you have standard weight plates. But uh, these here are meant, again, for two inch diameter whole Olympic style weight plates. So that's pretty much everything in terms of quality and features of this bench and squat rack. So now I'm going to show you some workouts you can perform with this set. If you've seen, if you've already seen my XRS20 review, then you're going to see similar workouts. So I'll leave a timestamp you can skip to, so you can jump to the next topic of the video, which will be the price and if I personally think it's worth it.
that's literally a handful of workouts you can do with this bench. So now I'm going to move on to the price. Is the Waiter Attack Series Olympic Weight Bench and Squat Rack worth the price? So these are currently going for $229 at Walmart. You could order it from walmart.com. That is about $30 more than the XRS 20 version. I got it for $30 off, so I ended up paying the same amount. So, um, uh, whether you're paying $229 or you're paying the same amount as the XRS 20, this is worth the price. I think for beginners or slightly above beginner level, or even experienced lifters, we could all benefit from this bench and this squat rack. Like for example, if the gyms close down again, or if you just can't get to the gym, snowy day, you have kids at home, whatever, this is definitely a great option. Honestly, whether it's this one or the XRS 20, they're both good. I just like this one slightly better. Of course, if you're a serious power lifter, then this ain't gonna be the bench for you, but again, if you have no other options and the gyms are closed, this is a great option. All right guys, so I think that's everything you need to know about the Waiter Attack Series Olympic Weight Bench and Squat Rack and how it compares to the Waiter XRS 20 Olympic Squat Rack and Bench. Yeah, I almost messed that up. Tongue twister. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, then please do not be afraid guys. Once again, bench that subscribe button, squat the like button, punch out the notification bell to be notified of future home gym equipment reviews such as this. And also guys, use my link in the description. Go to hugesupplements.com for all your nutritional needs. Protein powders, fat burners, pre-workouts, uh, anabolic agents, all that. Use my code SOLUTION20. It'll give you 10% off. Can no longer give 20%, but you can get 10% off with that link in the description. Once again guys, this is Carlos Solutions, and if you got a problem, I'll be solving it. Yours is done your best is yet to come.